so happy happy uh, serendipity also you might be feeling as if uh, things are going right pretty balanced uh, maybe headed towards a new direction loyal heart so are you being loyal to yourself perhaps maybe to someone else or is this just something that you're attracting and poised so it's like everything's going perfect at this point um maybe you're just having a really good day i definitely do feel it's like you're headed towards where you're going um definitely a sense of uh yang pretty balanced hi welcome this is the energy for today december 4th i hope you're doing well Spirit, what is the energy for today, December 4th? What is the mirror need to see in here? December 4th. Let's see. So happy, happy. Uh, serendipity. Also, you might be feeling as if uh, things are going right. Pretty balanced. Uh, maybe you headed towards a new direction. Loyal heart. So are you being loyal to yourself? Perhaps maybe to someone else? Or is this just something that you're attracting and poised? So it's like everything's going perfect at this point. Um, maybe you're just having a really good day. I definitely do feel it's like you're headed towards where you're going. Um, definitely a sense of uh, yang, pretty balanced. I feel like nothing can take you down today. Uh, you know, you might be leaving some kind of conflict or chaos. Uh, but I definitely do feel follow the signs with the serendipity here. And, and definitely a sense of having some kind of serenity or something having to do with the loyal heart like um maybe receiving messages or connecting on a spiritual level or um something like that it could be soulmate connection uh the poise is just very you know things are happening uh you're having a good outcome something like that it just feels really good so welcome i do hope you're doing well uh sorry i could not be here yesterday my internet just went down and um you know what it gave me the day off which i don't think i've had a day off of without doing tarot for over a year. So it was sort of nice. I guess it was sort of spirit forced me, but um, it's up and running again. And so you're not getting away with me that easily guys. So uh, welcome. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, happy, happy. So you have the shadow side. Uh, this is definitely releasing stuff. Um, are, you, are you battling, maybe leaving uh, something that you might have to pay attention to maybe some hard work or um, I definitely feel as happy happy is the outcome. You might have been going through some kind of shadow work or something that you had to somehow, um, you know, release, work on. Um, maybe it's it's within yourself. OK, uh, what is the shadow work? Shadow. I'm sorry. Shadow side. The shadow side, please. So is this like a, a surrender to it? Um, the shadow side, please. Because I definitely do feel that there's something that you're healing from. Exactly. You got the five of pentacles and the star. So this is really that sense of um, don't worry. Uh, the things that, you know, maybe you lost in the past, they're starting to grow again. There's really a sense of healing and becoming balanced. It definitely could be where you're in this place of surrendering and having peace and really shutting out any kind of ne negativity because the card we're somewhat um you know cl clarifying is this happy happy you see the opposite here uh so either you're coming out of this kind of darkness where you maybe something's going on or maybe something was going on and you're trying not to focus on it you're trying to keep yourself somewhat balanced and happy i this is like almost like seeing the contrast that's happening the contrast being bad things but you don't think about it and you don't focus on it for for a long time you sort of come back to like okay i'm not going to let this negative energy stick to me that's what it feels like if if that makes sense for somebody um i do feel you're battling i feel like you're on a, on that state of um really learning perhaps how to stay positive and happy and maybe you know move yourself away from negative energies right here with the five of pentacles um maybe you've lost something and now you're getting over it whether it's grief uh whether it's a sense of uh, loneliness or you know money loss um even losing a person uh romantically or even i have to say like maybe to even death for some of you um but it's almost like getting over it healing okay for some of you um let's see what is the star card please star card okay so you got the six of wands so see it's like things might have been just going really wrong for a long time and you're starting to feel balanced you're starting to have that six of wands which is really guiding you towards maybe 
you know, opening up the door to healing or some kind of peace or some kind of serenity. So either you've gone through the whole change and you're able to perhaps leave away the darkness that, you know, once it starts coming in as far as somebody thinking negatively or feeling negatively about situations or the environment, it's like the Six of Wands is really trying to tell you, you know, open that door to serenity and, and really have healing energy. You don't have to stay in a place where, you know, you're, you're feeling a lack of or lost or, you know, I, I do feel like this is a balancing energy that's coming in for you with the happy, happy. Um, <clears throat> maybe learning how it feels like you're learning to uh, shut the door on the negative. That's, that's the best way I can say it. It's like you're shutting the door to the negative and the magician is at the bottom. So this is you manifesting, you making the best of it is what it feels like. Okay. Um, six of wands, you got the moon card. So this is overcoming fear. This is overcoming that sense of, um, maybe even, uh, like, uncertainty you know where you just didn't see something clearly or maybe you were afraid to face it or something like that what is the moon um the moon please you got the empress see definitely manifesting greatness um squashing those mm, what if moments and moments of doubt is what it feels like really um i want to know what is the five of pentacles five of pentacles see there is a start after something that is lost okay um and then the, the two of cups. So are you starting a new relationship? Are you healing from a past relationship? Losing? Because I feel with with the um, the shadow side and the five of pentacles, there's really something that you lost. And I, I gave you different options that you can pick for yourself. I, I do feel like maybe this is you maybe losing um, maybe a, a great love or maybe a sense of thinking that you're going to be able to balance out. You know, this could be coming after a breakup. Uh, where you might think that you'll never be able to start again but i do see something coming back to life with the five of pentacles and there's that ace of wands and the two of cups so maybe you're fearing that you won't meet the one that you won't come together with the one that you have in mind already um there's really a sense of with the 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 ace of wands starting over very much like it looks just metamorphosing into something beautiful and it is a new partnership or maybe it is coming into meeting a new person okay maybe working on a uh, a partnership that you've taken a break from or had some kind of turmoil in it as well um <clears throat> because i do see the ten of wands facing uh maybe going away from friction okay and then the page of cups definitely starting over what is the shadow side give me one okay for the shadow side the shadow side um you hold the key to the feeling happy okay you hold the key to how you're going to make the rest of your time here okay that's what they're saying um and then the three of cups you got the the, the the ten of cups and the three of cups so there is something that maybe you're trying to uh, change about you that, that you're working um at manifesting happiness and maybe coming together you know community also coming together um you know ooh, sorry about that within your environment it's really like happy having some kind of happiness or joyfulness in your life um i feel like that is what you're you're definitely that what you're doing you're, you're trying to balance out the negative energy versus the positive energy okay and so it does take work but I definitely do feel with the star card, it's almost as if you're being guided towards this. It's almost like having um, a change of mind of the way that maybe you felt about a situation or about yourself. Okay. Um, I do see like with the Empress and the Moon, maybe there's been somebody who's taught you in your life um, recently. Um, maybe even even somebody like a friend or a mentor or a counselor or um, something that's helped you. With the moon and the empress, I feel it's like almost like you've had help. Maybe you've had help from somebody who has somewhat awoken you um, to different things. Okay, um, a lot of people, people, a lot of people think. Excuse me, a lot of people think that when you have an awakening, it just means that you're like a holy roller and you're like a Bible. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. There's nothing wrong with the Bible because I read the Bible. But I mean, it's just you don't become like a holy roller. Uh, an awakening is when you s clearly step out of um, things that you didn't understand. And you just see things for what they are. You just see things different. And, and that's like really what an awakening, awakening is. So with the moon and the empress, I feel either a situation made you learn something to be more prosperous and more abundant 
and to be more aware that's what it is they shouldn't say awake it should be i am aware now so there's almost a sense of either being aware of negative patterns or the the contrast the things that be, are being sent to you that are negative you're turning them around and making something positive positive. Uh, and this is a, a battle it's, it's almost like you're not quite in the comfort zone yet you're still working on it but it's a lot better than in the past is what it feels like okay um, and there you go you have um, at the bottom of the deck is karma so it's really moving out of a karmic cycle and really maybe having some appreciation for yourself and some kind of self-love that is changing and, it, and it's going to allow you to have whatever it is that you're manifesting that really has to do with the ten of cups the three of cups the ace of wands and the two of cups so what i see here is you're setting yourself up for something grand really um beautiful actually what is serendipity i want to know what is the serendipity please serendipity serendipity please okay so let's see the first one out the hangman have you been enlightened? Have you been watching for signals? Um, something that you maybe didn't pay attention to before. There's that karmic, uh, the karmic sign. It's almost as if there's things that are ending uh, for you that might have been a really mm, turmoil situation, but you're coming out of it. And I do feel balanced. You have three majors there. Um, so very influential cards. Let's see. You also have the Knight of Wands, the King of Cups and the temperance so this person has balanced out maybe this person is doing the work they've been enlightened uh about a situation maybe perhaps about themselves uh, there's definitely a sense of getting out of that cycle maybe this is the person if it isn't you it could be your person where you might have gone around in circles for a while and you're sort of learning how to break free of it because with the happy happy you hold the key you hold the key to be able to release any kind of stagnant or dark situations. Um, I do feel with the Knight of Wands and the King of Cups, with the Temperance, there's definitely a sense of healing. Um, really allowing a sense of um, being at peace with where you are. That's what it feels like. Like, And there's almost a sense of turning a new leaf with passion. Like, not passion like sexually, but passion with like everything tastes good and the sky is beautifully blue and you know everything is just beautiful in nature um i think that this is a different kind of way of feeling for you or for seeing things um i definitely do feel like the temperance is a sense of your your balancing your your balancing act isn't quite um as you know as difficult as it was before it's almost as if you're you're the way you're handling and balancing things it's more of a easy does it kind of a feeling um versus being on the flip side of that would be a sense of um maybe you needed to choose to go in a different direction um maybe you refused it maybe you just didn't want to see it but serendipity is really these signs and this these kind of epiphanies that just give you the sense of success and perhaps you're opening up some kind of um a new a new cycle that's bringing in a lot of luck okay um where you've been at a place where you've lost whether it's relationships jobs money whatever it is that you've lost it's coming back but it's coming back on more of a grander scale um and that's because you're doing the work so i wonder if this king of cups has some kind of um uh, some kind of passion some kind of drive to move him towards this two of cup and this three of uh, cups um, I want to know what is the Knight, Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands right here, the Knight of Wands. It's almost as if um, whatever, whoever's energy this is, whether this is you or your person, there's this sort of, okay, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, very easy going. So the Emperor, see, sitting back, I feel like there's really a sense of maybe some kind of, you're passionately moving into something that is st stable, um, stability. Uh, definitely a sense of uh, maybe being like provided um, like a better environment, providing a better environment, providing a home. Um, what is the King of Cups? So the Emperor is really taking charge. Um, and the King of Cups, maybe they're taking charge and following their heart, their passion versus staying stuck in a sense of with the King of Cups, you could really have that energy of being like that crab, you know, you, when something bad happens, you go back into the shell and you don't come out. It, it's almost as if with the with the um, Nine of Swords, you, you're worried. Um, 
and maybe this is something that you're trying to break free out of that worry worry wart they say you know um let's see this one also so the king of wands and look at this it's it's amazing because i feel like these ones want to come out too because they're not in the deck they're on this side of my finger so um there is the nine of pentacles the ace of pentacles and the king of cups i'm sorry the knight of cups so and there's masculine definitely there's masculine energy here with the king of cups the emperor the knight of wands okay and and it's funny because even the way i put them down let me put it down so you can see it a little bit better it's almost like they're reading themselves today it's one of those days um this person wants to make some kind of offer maybe because in the center of it is the ten of swords and there's this kind of energy of maybe um trying to get that courage or, or trying to let the worry go or uh, you know i i do feel it's going to happen because you have positive cards you have the knight of cups the ace of pentacles and the nine of swords i mean the nine of pentacles which speaks of some sort of success coming in for you um this is somebody who's overcoming fear is pretty much what i'm trying to tell you and spit out they're they're overcoming fear um uh, maybe perhaps allowing their passion and, and their drive to pull them um, and I do feel with the hangman and the karma card, which is the moon, there's a sense of being enlightened and really learning that balance um, for you to really get out of it and be somewhat uh, secure, balanced. No matter what hits you, it's like you're still secure and balanced. Um, you have success coming in for you, whatever this is. It's stability within maybe the way you think about yourself, maybe about the environment. And these are signs that <clears throat> you, you might like pay attention to with the serendipity you're being guided to this and stay instead of staying in that sense of fear and worry you have so many different ways to like distract yourself distract yourself from negativity um there's definitely a lot of opportunity for you to go in different directions that maybe you didn't quite see before that's that's definitely what it feels like um so i do see somebody moving maybe this is somebody who's becoming single okay i do see the chariot as a single person and i see the nine of pentacles right here as a single person so are these two people coming together that's going to allow you to make that connection with maybe a new partner um whether this is business or love you know you can meet that perfect partner and i do feel like this is a new beginning um i also got this message right now that this king of cups is really learning how to manifest they're learning how to manifest and bring this together um and that's definitely a sense of um the emperor the king of wands really taking charge and it's definitely divinely guided uh because of the temperance it's almost a sense of maybe this is the the timing that you've been waiting for to make that change if you want to start something new or offer something new to somebody else um there is some sort of offer with the knight of wands right there so is it is this your person getting their balance all the way around in order to come in and start over again that's definitely what it feels like um what is the loyal heart so you're getting this loyal heart because you're loyal to yourself, okay? Um, you're being true to yourself. And so it's it's setting you up to this thing of um, attracting positive things. Loyal heart, please. Loyal heart. So see new path with the hermit. You got the hermit of the nine of cups. The, the, the um, high priestess. Maybe you're wishing to hear from either a situation or a person that you've been waiting for to hear from um either you're just waiting for that whatever that situation to sort of balance out for you um i do feel that being patient and almost like this kind of feeling with a happy happy where you know you really don't have an expectation of a time frame it's just sort of happening it's just sort of easy you know i think that that is bringing you to that sense of your wish fulfillment you want a loyal heart you want um, perhaps a soulmate or a better connection or even to rebuild the current connection that you have um, because I, I definitely do feel like this is somebody who might be working on the relationship but the way you're doing it is you're working from yourself first um, or it just could be that you've just really have learned through your karmic cycle and you're attracting this uh, this also could be just fixing a relationship really is, is what I was trying to say and I might have cut myself off but um it definitely feels like that there is a wish fulfillment coming as far as um a new path and maybe it hasn't quite been exposed yet to you so either somebody you have like a secret admirer or you have somebody that's not quite at your door yet but they will be you know 
almost a, a sense of an element of surprise with the high priestess okay what is the nine of cups right here the nine of cups please with this loyal heart it's bringing balance definitely um stability okay so the page of swords i'm sorry the seven of swords i was like the page of swords no seven of swords um are you scared to reveal? Is this person scared to reveal? What is the seven seven of swords in this reading? Uh, I, I feel you're tired of holding back. That's what it feels like. Okay, so you got the world and that's where that feeling is. Of you're, you're tired of holding back from what is your balance, whatever is your, maybe your other half. Okay, because you got the eight of swords, the magician and the strength. Very much what I felt. Um, it, it's um, definitely a sense of... Uh, on, on breaking yourself or unleashing yourself from this kind of energy of being stuck, uh, feeling like you can't move, feeling like you're trapped, a feeling like nothing's ever going to change again. Um, it's really this kind of energy of um, maybe learning how to get out of this. And if it's not the learning, it's almost like the feeling of I'm tired of holding back. I'm tired of maybe being stepped on. I'm tired of being cheated on. Um, I'm tired of lying. I'm tired of lying to myself. I'm tired of being, you know, more authentic for other people. In other words, living for other people. There's many different situations coming in. But whatever it is, it's almost as if whatever situation this is for you, you're shifting into this place of putting the Seven of Swords behind you. And that is being loyal to yourself, definitely. Um, the, the Strength card, there's really a sense of maybe you've tamed that beast, that alter ego you know that that ego that just tells you you're not gonna be successful you're not you're not good enough you're not strong enough um is this a soulmate connection that's making you do this is this like a love so passionate that so full of passion that maybe it's made you realize that you don't want to be in the darkness you don't want to be in the past maybe you don't want to be a cheater you don't want to be a liar um there's something like that i do feel there is a new beginning here with the magician and the strength card with the world and it's something that's very positive for you what's the eight of swords eight of swords please what is the eight of swords okay so the two of pentacles you um you're making a choice it's very much making that choice to um balance out when you make that choice it's very much where you feel balanced like the temperance where you just feel like everything's happening for you okay um do you choose to stay locked up and feeling confined or feeling like you, you can't manifest anything new or you can't go in, in in another direction this is your choice and this is what i told you with a happy happy it's you learning or your person learning to take control over a situation the magician is about taking control the emperor is about taking control um the strength card is really that that um you know, uh, having that thick skin and really learning and that learning sets you up for healing, you know? So is that what the new beginning is? Is that what is loyal for you? And is that what is bringing the 10 of cups, the ace of wands, the two of cups and the three of cups? Okay. Is that what you're striving for? That's what it feels like. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Poised. Card 48. Poised, please. I was doing Clemento. Clemento? Uh, you know the little sage i love these things they smell so good but i'm choking <laughs> um poised please poised so excuse my coughing in other in other words so building um coming together strong foundation working on it maybe you're working on it you're figuring it out you're figuring out your strategy you know um do you have you learned like the people around you that work against you or work for you with you um there's really a sense of teamwork as well but it it definitely feels as um like coming together working together teamwork but also being a leader are you being a leader um versus maybe somebody who's giving control to other people um let's see three of pentacles and this could be work in the work aspect here um you know working for yourself maybe the king of pentacles being more grounded uh, really watching your finances, um, getting everything that, you know, that you deserve as far as reaping what you sow with the King of Pentacles. Um, is this also working on letting go of that coin? Are you a workaholic that's just been focused on work? Maybe you have a, a person who's just always work at, working on, on work and they don't tell you how they feel about you. Um, 
what is the king of pentacles here and we have a lot of masculine energy the seven of pentacles um so maybe you're trying to figure out how to get past any kind of um blockages that you've had before as far as you know money fears materialism um workaholic i keep hearing workaholic um so what is the seven of pentacles what's this it's like everything's coming together uh you'll be able to reap what you sow okay whatever you're putting out there is what's going to come back to you you got the eight of cups the three of wands and the queen of swords are you leaving a person the first queen we've seen here the empress is really magnificent it's it's a very beautiful kind of energy is this you having victory and being able to celebrate with the person that you want are you leaving are you walking away from a queen of swords because i mean that's what it shows like you see with the eight of cups and the three of wands it's really maybe having your truth to maybe walk away from a situation maybe a situation or a person you have to take it as it resonates for you but let's see here because are you walking away so you can manifest what you truly want okay eight of cups eight of cups please what is the Eight of Cups? Is this your hindrance? You've been stuck in a situation that you might have had to be there for money. You know, you couldn't leave because of money is what I'm trying to say. Eight of Cups, please. Eight of Cups. So you have the truth now. You have some kind of truth and it's opening up for you to go down a different path. What is the Queen of Swords? Oh, no, what's the Queen of Swords? Right here. The Queen of Swords, please. What does the Queen of Swords mean? Queen of Swords. So eight of pentacles really coming together really balancing seeing the truth working it out are you trying to work it out work out a deal with somebody um or within a situation uh could be money still three of pentacles three of pentacles please uh, okay so three of pentacles i'm sorry three of wands um you got the six of cups and the lovers so you're working back to this balance for some of you, you're healing yourself so that maybe you're coming to a twin flame, a soulmate. Maybe you're choosing love. Maybe you're letting go of that negativity. And with this sense, the universe is gracing you with a new beginning, either with this person you want to return to with the Six of Cups, okay? Or it's maybe a brand new love, okay? So you have to take it as it resonates here. Um, I do feel like, like we have a lot of masculine energy here. And they've shown you different uh, aspects of their lives and the troubles that maybe they've gone through with the emperor, the king of wands, the, the king of cups, the magician. And finally, um, what is it? Where is he? Um, is it? Oh, the king of pentacles really coming together and grounding themselves. So uh, this is definitely a sense of you're being happy because maybe, you know, this is what's going to happen in the end. This is what you're striving for. This is what you're you're really focused on. The lovers and the six of cups absolutely beautiful it just seems like a new beginning for me um it, it seems like this is where you're headed you know so very nice i want to know how does the story end for today please how does the story end what can you show me about this so a decision you choosing between two people there's three people on the card is something is some sort of clarity here with the with the ace of swords you know you got some kind of clarity here you got to speak up some kind of truth here um, what else? Okay, so the two of two of uh, wands, the four of cups. It's like not wasting any more time. You've wasted a lot of time in the past. Um, not waste. It's like you're saying you're not going to waste any more time, and you're going to go get what you want. Okay, um, maybe that's coming for you as well. Eight of Pentacles. It could be something dealing with your work foundation, uh, your money, your Pentacles. Okay something that you lost you will be balanced and you will be okay maybe for some of you this is being solo coming out of a relationship and you're going to be solo and the money situation will be okay um this also could be you know for work if you are leaving a company it's almost as if either you're leaving a company to be your own boss or just to be in a different company and you're working for yourself in a sense where you don't have somebody breathing down your shoulders okay um, so take it as it resonates for you, but I do see a good outcome.